What's going on guys? It's Majestic Pie, and welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Glazed Season 2. So last we left off, we got our fifth gym badge, we left North Coast Town, got to the Azure Cape, and then we got the Dark Bike so we can move on to the next town. I do have to mention though that the last episode there was supposed to be a little script where Blake was that little dude with the green hair. As soon as we entered in town, there was supposed to be a script that was supposed to happen, but because of the emulator I used, for whatever reason, it didn't trigger that script. And all it was saying was to go to the Safari Zone to find Cheryl. That's all. So it wasn't anything significant. So anyway, let's let's get moving on. So, is that, that's, that was it, okay. That was anticlimactic, but whatever. So, we're in the next town. So I think the gym is down here? Oh, Kato. Okay. Mom's back, oh, his mom's Irene? Oh, okay, so Ernest seems to be out right now. How about we battle instead? Okay, we're already starting off with a great start. So I don't remember who Kato is, and he leads with the Hound. Great. Go ahead and switch out. Because that's not good. So we'll go ahead and go into Anubis. Deal with this Hound Doom. And it's down, nice. Espeon. Okay, we'll go ahead and go into Loki. That should be an easy takedown for that. Fain attack! Oh wow, crit. Probably didn't even matter. Ooh, Fafnir's up to 47. Nice. Um, I'm not sure also if whenever I was running through originally, because there were some parts I had to redo with my emulator, with it being screwed up, I'm not sure if Fafnir gained level 47 in the previous episode and was trying to learn Safeguard regardless, we're not teaching it Safeguard, so. So hopefully for Alligator it should be somewhat easy to knock out. Hey, there we go, crit with Thunderbolt. That may have mattered though. Porygon 2. Ooh, let's go back to Freya. Hopefully Psychic will take it out, because Porygon 2 can be pretty bulky. Wow, it survived. Okay. Heal? Yep. Oh, full restore. Okay. We'll just hit it with another confusion again. Here we go. Nice. So I've been training to do. Why don't you go to the Espo Forest and train a bit more? Okay. That's cool, I guess. Well, let's go heal up. And then let's get rid of... Eradicate. We don't need that in our party right now. 
replace him with Saga. Go. And then we are good. And then I'm just going to move some team members around. So I'm going to put Loki in the front instead of Freya. So let's get moving. Wrong end of town. Let's see here. Espo Forest is over here. Yeah, here we go. Go ahead and surf right on across this. And then that looks like a trainer that I may not... Oh, nope. Alrighty, let's continue into the forest. Uh, did I buy repels? I don't remember if I did or not. Oh, I have 23 super repels? Oh, that's... N okay. That's nice. Definitely gonna take advantage of those. That's what, 200 steps? Nice. So we're just gonna walk right on past you. Oh, there's an item down here. What's this? Oh, toxic. Cool. Not gonna use it though, but still cool. Okay. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, so hopefully we can get towards the end of the four. What? What's this? Oh, it's Blake. Oh. This shrine was built a long ago in order to provide offerings to Mew. Believed to live here. It's so relaxing and peaceful. If I were Mew, I'd live here too. That makes sense. There's a bunch of psychic types. In the forest, earlier today I challenged the previous champion, Gray, and defeated him, which means I'm the new champion. Oh, so Blake's the champion now. Huh. Okay. Team- Oh, so team- Okay, so it's Team Fusion that's our evil team. I'm, like, slowly getting back into it. Did you feel that? It's happening again. What? What in the world is going on? Luke. It's good to see you again. Okay, you act like you expected us. The odds you meet us to two different places are incredibly large. It's well, as far as I can tell, I can feel disturbances in the fabric of space time. Anyone can, really, if you focus enough. But I have to tell you something important. I was doing research about anything that could link the Pokemon world with this one, and I stumbled on something. About 50 years ago, a newspaper article was printed about... And the... What? About what? About what? Oh man, there's no time to lose. You can't wait to get your seventh badge. We have to go to Temporal Tower now. I have a hunch we'll find we'll need there, but first. But we just got our fifth? I think? Okay, so... Yeah, we just got our fifth. I don't even know, but okay. So, we're apparently at the Temporal Tower. Which... Okay. Guess this is... What? Oh! It's the Pikachu with the scarf. Oh. What? We've got to battle this thing? Okay. Level 35. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and switch into Saga. Because I'm anticipating Thunderbolt or Thunder. And it's not going to do anything on Saga. A full tackle. Nice. So we'll go ahead with Mudshot. That'll lower its speed. Or just knock it out. That works too. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. 
I kick this Pikachu out of its home? What? Okay, so Team Fusion's here. Oh, great. This is gonna be fun. This is going to be a blast. So, Team Fusion... Oh crap, they use fighting types. Ooh, I forgot about that one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and switch to Freya to deal with this. Because that's not good. Rock climb, I want rock climb. Be a nice move. I don't know who I would use it on, but decent move to at least have. So, Girder's out, I guess. So, well, it looks like Freya's gonna have the advantage here. So let's go ahead and switch her to the front. So, I don't believe there's any Pokemon here, but I'm not sure. I still have the Repel up, so. Okay, oh, there's an item over there, and there's Blake. A Pearl. Okay, not bad. We could sell that for money. So, heard rumors that the Temporal Tower has the entirety of history written on its walls, but I've never believed it to be true. As I suspected, Team Fusion is here as well as you're aware. I assume the more recent history is near the top of the tower, so I better head up that way. Yeah, that seems like a great idea. Okay, so let's see if we can avoid this dude. Easy. Easy. Twisted Spoon. Oh, that's nice. I give that to Freya. I'm actually going to do that. If I can find it. There we go. Give that to Freya. There we go. Do we have anything else while I'm checking real quick? Uh, seeing since I can give that to Saga. There we go. I think that's it. Sooth Bell, I don't need any more. Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Oh, that dude's not even a trainer. Okay. Looks like we've got two more battles up ahead. So I'm just going to skip to the point after the second. Okay. Let's continue on. So I don't know how far this tower goes, but got at least one more floor that's just looks like littered with grunts okay so how many more grunts do I have to deal with oh okay moving on oh my pal wore off so let's see if there are Pokemon here or there are okay that's great oh it's unknown Really? Unknown? That? That is a major disappointment. So I'm gonna go ahead, spray another repel, bite that grunt. There we go. Okay, so we drop down this hole, which will take us to right in front of another grunt. Okay, so I think... Ooh, so we got a choice. We can either go down that or go up the ladder. I'm going to go up the ladder because I think that's our way down. So there's an item there, which is a black flute. Okay. So there's another grunt there. Okay, so it looks like this should be the ladder to the top. Yup, this looks significant. Okay, so it looks like it's about to go down. Oh, Michael. Looks like we have company. Yes, we do. Wife, Regina. What? Oh, my. They're done? Okay, what did they do? Oh, you'd have to kill me first. Oh, that's nice. Michael Kins. Oh, that's that's cringy. Oh man. So is it a double battle? Or is it just one? No, it's just one. 
That's a shame. Ditto. Really? Really a ditto? Okay, that's uh, not exciting. That's fine, it was an easy kill. Zoroark. Ooh. Uh, definitely gonna go into Anubis for that one. One thing is, it has Intimidate. But then again, Anubis has Aura Spear, so Intimidate doesn't work. So. Easy. Done. Dead. That was a lot easier than what I expected it to be. Fafnir's at 49. I'm gonna eventually gonna have to move the EXP share. I'll probably move it over to Kratos once Fafnir hits 50. Meddling cheat, wow. I know Mew disappeared into an alternate reality 50 years ago. Furthermore, I know how to get it back. Oh. Make use of what- Oh, fly! Sweet! It's a shame I can't use it, though. Nice! Are you gonna at least take me back? There we go. Nice. I need the blaze badge. So we- Okay. That's nice. That's awesome. So, very, very eventful. So we got Fly, so we're gonna have to get Fafnir up. And we're gonna have to get the rest of my team up, as well, for me to use Fly. Unless I want to get another Slave, but honestly, Fly is useful to have. The only thing is, Fafnir doesn't evolve until level 55, though. That's the only thing. That, and I believe it learns Wing Attack whenever it evolves as well. So, I mean, I really hate to get rid of Twister, which is a stab move, but I'm thinking I might have to, because I don't have... Well, no, I'll get rid of Slam. I'm just not gonna teach Wing Attack, then, as much as I'd love to. I could definitely take use, unless... Unless I go find the move deleter. Because I probably shouldn't have taught Fafnir Surf. Should have taught that to Saga. But, eh, we'll, we'll figure it out sometime in between the next episode and this one. So, oh well. Anyway, guys, uh, we had a real eventful episode, but that's it for this one. So I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you hit that like button on the video. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And, of course, ring that bell notification button so you get notified every single time I upload a video. And hopefully there's going to be a lot more to come. And as always, thanks for watching.